Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a few of my top selling photos on Shutterstock. But if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post weekly videos about photography and travel. A few months ago, I posted a video here on YouTube about a couple of tips and tricks on how to make money and gain success on Shutterstock. In the comments, I got a lot of follow-up questions. The most common question was, how can I sell photos of people and places on Shutterstock without a model or property release? And it is a valid question. But the answer is simple. Just upload those photos as editorial images, not as commercial images. Shutterstock does have instructions on their website on how exactly to do that, like what format you need to upload that in. This basically gives you the freedom to go out and shoot uh, newsworthy photos and upload those to Shutterstock. Most of my top selling photos on Shutterstock are in fact editorial images. So today I'm going to pull up a few of my top selling photos on Shutterstock to basically show you that literally anything and everything can have value to somebody else. So first I'm going to talk about my top five most profitable images and then I'm going to talk about five other highly successful images that are in my top 20 but that might kind of surprise you because they're a little bit different than what you might expect. Number five, Lantern Ghost Tour. Last year I went on a ghost tour in Florida and I snapped a quick photo of the lantern that the tour guide used. This photo is constantly being downloaded. I suspect that people needing a creepy images will download this photo. Number three and four. These photos pretty much tied and they are uh, drone shots of Annapolis and Baltimore. These top selling photos are panoramic drone shots I took of Annapolis and Baltimore in the fall. Of course, there are countless images of these cities already, but drone photos are a little bit less common and create a different perspective. At this point, the market for drone photos is becoming saturated, but it will still give you a little bit of a unique perspective compared to on the ground images of the same thing. So I do have a lot of luck with drone photos on Shutterstock. Number two, a climate change protest photo. My second highest earning photo is an image I took at the 2017 Climate March in Washington, D.C. Photos of protests are always valuable to the news media, especially if you can get them up on Shutterstock quickly. So if there's a protest in your town, go take some photos and upload them fast. Number one a photo of Donald Trump. Does that really surprise you? My highest earning photo is an image of Donald Trump. No surprises there. But this is not something that most photographers would have in their portfolio, so I don't think it's really worth going into this particular image. So let's talk about five high earning photos that are in my top 20 that might be a little bit different than what you would expect. Number five, a picture of the New Jersey Turnpike. While sitting in the passenger seat during a road trip, I snapped a quick image of a toll booth at the New Jersey Turnpike. Who knew that this would end up being one of my top selling images? I had no idea. Number four, straws at Starbucks. While waiting for my coffee at Starbucks one day, I took a quick photo of some of the straws. Because why not? I mean, doesn't everybody take photos of straws? You never know what might sell, and these straws are constantly being downloaded. Number three, a Department of Labor entrance sign. I often take photos of storefronts and entrances to well-known buildings. This photo of the Department of Labor sign has been sold quite often. Number two, the top of Gatorade bottles. Sounds weird, right? But uh, while I was in a grocery store one day, I took a photo of like the top of a bunch of Gatorade bottles and you actually don't see the brand name on these photos. So they can be used for many different purposes. And this photo is always being downloaded. I have no idea why, but it works. And number one, the Book of Mormon. Someone gave me a uh, Book of Mormon once and uh, you know, I was being polite and I, and I took it. Um, and instead of reading it, I photographed it. So I actually uh, loved the fall foliage that was outside that day. Uh, and I laid the book in you know, a pile of leaves and I used some cool lighting and some cool editing and I made this Book of Mormon look super awesome. And uh, people download this Book of Mormon image all the time. I mean, I guess there's a, a community out there that has a need for these types of photos. So, you know, pretty much anything can sell. If it's a good quality image, 
if it's got proper tags and titles and you know captions and if it's unique on Shutterstock. So that's just a list of 10 photos that have personally done well on Shutterstock for me and I'm by no means an expert and I can't say which type of photo is going to do better than another type of photo. All I can say is that this is my experience on Shutterstock and these images sell well for me. Um, so you might have a totally different experience, but let me know in the comments, what is your top selling photo on Shutterstock? Have you had good luck on the platform or have you been struggling to get any sort of downloads? So anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, helpful, or just simply interesting, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.